If you raise chickens on pasture, you probably spend a lot of time moving your birds, which can be stressful, exhausting, and time-consuming. In this video, you'll learn our farmer's favorite techniques for transporting the flock. Whether you're unloading a batch of new chicks, moving your birds to pasture, or catching broilers for processing, we'll show you how to transport your birds safely and efficiently. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see our foolproof methods for quick, easy chicken catching, no matter the size of your farm. When you receive a new batch of chicks, you need to move them into a brooder safely and swiftly. Whether you're raising a few meat birds to feed your family or growing broilers on a large scale, your newly hatched birds need access to food, water, and warmth as soon as possible. Here's how to welcome your flock to the farm. If your chicks arrive on a delivery truck, have your driver park as close as possible to the brooding area. Shipments of chicks often arrive in these stackable bird crates, which hold about 100 chicks each. Unload crates from the truck one or two at a time and place the crates on the floor of the brooder. This will keep the chicks contained in their crates so you can move easily through the brooder to finish unloading. Did you know that you can get chickens in the mail? Small-scale farmers across the country order and receive hatched chicks through the United States Postal Service. When the chicks arrive at the post office, load them carefully into your vehicle, drive safely back to the farm, and unload your peeping package. Then use one of these two low-stress methods to introduce your birds to their new home. If you have a small flock, gently pick up each chick and dip its beak in a simple mixture of sugar and water to give the bird a boost of energy. Place the chick next to a full feeder and repeat. Then watch as your flock of feathered friends begin exploring the brooder. This method uses simple household products, but can be tedious and time-consuming if you have a lot of birds to unload. In that case, we recommend method number two. For efficient unloading, you can safely release an entire crate at a time by tipping it gently and letting the birds fall out. Because your brooder should have a thick layer of bedding like pine shavings, straw, or hay, the chicks will have a soft landing. Now that all your chicks are on the ground, leave them to eat, drink, and settle into their new space. After two or three weeks growing strong in the brooder, it's time to take these birds out to pasture. We made this video to teach you how to acclimate your chicks to the outdoors, and now we'll show you exactly how to catch, crate, and transport your chickens out to pasture. First, create a catch pen using large poultry crates and herd your birds into this smaller area. We'll talk more about these crates in a moment, so stay tuned. Walk from the opposite end of the brooder toward your catch pen. We use recycled materials like plastic bags to create a noise that mimics the approach of a predator. The chickens will run away from the sound and file into the catch pen and will close the entrance with additional poultry crates. This easy method causes very little stress for the birds and for you, which is crucial for raising pastured poultry. If any chicks weren't herded into the pen or got out of the pen, catching them individually is the quickest way to return them to the flock. To catch a chick, simply pick it up with both hands around its wings and body. Hold its legs between two fingers to prevent scratching and keep the chicken in a standing position for easy release. When catching a chick in a larger space, approaching the chick from behind is often most successful. With all the birds contained in the catch pen, it's time to start loading them into crates. For the move to pasture, we use small stackable game bird crates from 3T products. The best feature of these crates is the textured floor, which prevents the chickens from sliding during transportation. Our crates have two flap doors, but other farmers prefer secure locking hinge doors. You can check out all of 3T products' sizes and styles of crates at the link in our description. Whatever bird crate you choose, here's how to load your chickens quickly, without ruffling any feathers. Bring your crates into the catch pen and sit on the ground. Catch any chick within arm's reach and lift the flap of your crate to place the bird inside. The flap will then fall back down, keeping the crated birds contained until we release them on pasture. At this age, 10 birds fit in each crate. This process may be tricky at first, but it'll become easier with practice. As you can see, our livestock team catches and crates chicks pretty quickly. Once all your crates are filled, it's time to move them out to pasture. We stack our crates in a trailer, making sure that each crate locks into place with the one below, so no boxes will fall off the trailer during transport. But where exactly is the flock going? If you're not sure where to run your pastured poultry schooners, these four easy rules will help you decide. Each chicken schooner needs three acres of flat land. If you use multiple schooners in one pasture, leave at least 20 feet between the structures so you have room to pivot the schooners if needed. Choose a pasture with water access so you can hook up an automatic watering system or use a hose to refill the waterers in your schooner. 
Consider your climate. If heavy rainfall is expected in the next month, choose land at higher elevation to prevent flooding in your schooners. Choose a pasture that needs improvement. Just one pass of a chicken schooner creates a big impact on the soil. While the chickens grow on pasture, they leave a thin layer of nitrogen-rich manure on the ground. As they scratch and peck in the grass, they'll begin to incorporate their all-natural fertilizer, enriching the soil and promoting new plant growth. Once you've chosen a location, prepared your schooner, and parked your full trailer outside, here's how to introduce your birds to their luxurious new life on pasture. Bring your first crate to the back corner of the schooner, as far from the entrance as possible. This box is full of birds, so tip the crate to make room to lift the flap or open the hinge door on the opposite side. Lower the crate to the ground, then slowly tilt it downward so the chickens slide out. This process doesn't hurt the chickens, but you can make their landing even softer by keeping the crate as close to the ground as possible. Double check that no stragglers are stuck inside the crate, then start unloading the rest of your flock. The chickens need a full day to settle into the pasture lifestyle, but soon you'll need to move this massive structure every morning so the birds have access to fresh grass and bugs. Moving a heavy chicken tractor and keeping all your chickens safe in the process can be daunting, but our farmers have mastered the morning move. First, remove any water lines or fencing around the schooner. We'll talk more about our hacks for moving with an automatic water system in a minute, so stay tuned. Hook the schooner to a tractor or a sturdy truck if you're using a smaller chicken tractor. The next step requires two people, so grab a trusty helper. One person will drive the tractor straight ahead, slowly pulling the schooner forward, while the other person herds the birds from the inside. It's important to have someone inside the schooner as it moves so no chickens are left behind. You can shake plastic bags to push the birds forward or have a farm dog assist you. Keep the schooner door open and use hand signals to communicate while moving. If the chickens need a moment to catch up, the person inside the schooner should signal for the driver to stop. Once the flock has moved to the front of the schooner, signal for the driver to pull forward again. As you move the chicken schooner forward, you'll create a path of fertilized pasture where the chickens have been living, eating, scratching, pecking, and of course, pooping. Avoid walking through this patch during schooner moves, both to protect the people and animals on your farm from contamination and to minimize soil disturbance while the chicken's impact gradually improves the land. When the chicken schooner has completely passed yesterday's fertilized pasture, you'll see a floor of fresh green grass, and your chickens will be nibbling on a bountiful breakfast of ground-dwelling bugs. Signal for your driver to stop and back the tractor up slightly so you can unhook the schooner. And just like that, you've moved your chickens onto fresh pasture and helped heal your land in the process. You'll move your schooner every morning, so it'll quickly become routine. But while you're learning, save this video so you've always got instructions handy for moving your schooner. We're about to share our secrets to a successful chicken catch. But first, here are two farm hacks to make daily schooner moves even easier. If you raise chickens in a large schooner like this one, an automatic water system is a huge advantage. We've talked about the DIY automatic watering system we use at Heifer Ranch in this video, and we love how easy it makes our daily moves. We connect our on-pasture water supply to the schooner's automatic chicken waterer with a quick release unit. When it's time to pull the schooner forward, we detach the water supply hose and make sure it's not in the schooner's path. After the move, it's quick and easy to reconnect the hose so our chickens have access to fresh water. Need to turn your schooner around? Use this hack to keep your chickens safe during the move. Cut two pieces of plastic drainage tube to the length of your schooner. Place one at the base of either side and attach it with bungee cords, zip ties, or other materials you have handy. When you turn the schooner, this tube serves as a buffer to keep the chickens away from the edge and prevent injury. As the schooner moves forward, the tube may also create noises that push the chickens even further from the schooner's edges. After seven or eight weeks on pasture, you'll be a pro at daily schooner moves, and your chickens will be nearing their finishing weight. That means it's nearly time to send your broilers to the processor for harvesting. Whether you're farming to feed your family or raising pastured poultry for profit, transporting chickens to a processing facility is the most important move your birds will ever make. That's why we use low-stress animal handling techniques to catch, crate, and load our chickens. And you can too, with this step-by-step -step guide to low-stress chicken catching. First, schedule your chicken catch in the evening, just after the sun has set. At this time, the birds will be going to sleep and the temperature will start to drop, reducing the risk of stress and heat exhaustion for your livestock and their handlers. 
it can be tough to see in the dark, so our farmers and helpers wear headlamps to light the way. In the darkness, white light will confuse and disorient the chickens, so select a headlamp with green or red light to keep the birds calm. Next, gather your supplies. You'll need large game bird crates to load and transport your finished broilers. Our crates from 3T Products hold seven or eight full-grown chickens at a time, and they cost about $90 each. We've found that they're worth the investment because they're easy to use, they stack perfectly, and they keep our poultry secure and comfortable during transportation. Whether you're raising 20 chickens or 20,000 chickens, our top two tips for quick catching are all about efficiency. Bring your crates to the birds and catch them outside. Walking through a schooner can be tricky, trying to avoid feeders, waterers, and live birds, but it's even harder with a chicken in your hands. Here's how to do it the easy way. On the day of chicken catch, recruit some helpers and bring the bird crates to your schooner. Use the crates to build a horseshoe-shaped border around one short side of the schooner. This creates an outdoor catch pen where our birds will stay calm and contained. Next, prepare your schooner by creating an opening on the short side near the catch pen. This may require removing a wooden base or raising a plastic skirt. Create a gap tall enough that the chickens can pass under it safely and hook the schooner to a tractor, just like you would for a daily move. Have your helpers stand inside the schooner and create a barrier with extra crates or sorting boards. As your schooner moves forward, it will pass over the chickens, leaving them undisturbed in the catch pen. Have each helper place an empty crate on the ground, open the hinge door, and begin catching any chickens resting close by. Place the chicken gently into the crate and move on to the next bird. Typically, we load eight chickens per crate, but some larger breeds may only fit seven birds. In particularly hot or humid seasons, we load seven chickens per crate, so they stay cool, calm, and comfortable on the way to processing. Park your transport truck or trailer as close as possible and partner up to load your big boxes of broilers. As your stacks grow, make sure each crate locks into place. During this process, listen closely for any squawks or sounds of distress. Occasionally, a stray claw may get caught between crates, so pay attention to your poultry and prioritize their safety. If you've followed these tips, you've set your chickens up for success on their final move, and now it's time to wish your feathered friends farewell. But then what? You could deep clean and prep your brooder for a new batch of chicks with this video, or take a tour of an incredible poultry farm that raises 30,000 chickens on pasture every year.